Romans chapter 15. <clears throat> Get your King James Bible, the real Bible. Follow me along in the scriptures today. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. You know, brethren, um, uh, I am not the only one of the body of Christ, the Church of the Living God, that have been, uh, that uh, in these days are being drawn onto the Old Testament, that we may learn from the examples given in the Old Testament that we can learn from today. Okay. Uh, dispensationally and doctrinally, we do have to remember a lot of the Old Testament is not written um, to us. It's there for our learning. That's at the scriptures here in Romans 15, verse 4. Okay, And today, right now, as we speak, the body of Christ seemeth to be fragmented. There are divisions. There are stripes. Here in America, um, this has just come up, um, we are getting that much more closer here in America to be going cashless. Um, here in America, there is apparently a coin shortage, which I have encountered and even my wife has encountered. And apparently, the whole thing of it is, and y'all can, uh, here in America and here in other nations, you can look this up on your own. Uh, apparently, the story is that the corona going to get you virus <laughs> has infected the um, place where here in America where they mint our coins, right? And apparently, too, that our Jesuit-controlled uh, government has not minted any coins recently or something like that. And um, so there is a coin shortage, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> people are being um, strongly recommended to go to pay with a debit card or a credit card. Yeah, uh, the cashless society is quickly becoming a reality here in America. And by the time the second wave come, um, <laughs> I personally believe that, you know, America will go cashless very soon, very soon. Y'all can look that up uh, on your own time if you're curious. But also, too, there are so many divisions. Brethren are fighting with brethren over things. And um, what's interesting is prayer and fasting. What if, brethren... Church of the Living God, the Body of Christ. What if we had a day of prayer and fasting unto the Lord? To seek the Lord. To pray unto Him for His mercy. And to uh, strengthen the Body of Christ. Turn in your King James Bible to the book of Joel. The book of Joel. Chapter 1. Now, you also got to remember, brethren, that even the Apostle Paul mentioned about, you know, how we, as the body of Christ, there are times when we ought to fast and pray and fast unto the Lord. Um, he makes reference to that in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, that, um, you know, that the husband and wife um, ought to pray and fast unto the Lord. He also makes several references in 2 Corinthians uh, uh, specifically about how he was uh, sought the Lord in prayer and fasting in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 5 especially, and also in 2 Corinthians 11, um, verse 27, you know. And Jesus also made a mention when the Pharisees came to him, it's like, why do we fast off and your disciples fast not? That was because the Lord Jesus Christ, our Father, was there as king, offering the kingdom unto the Jewish people. And even he himself said that, you know, the children uh, can't fast while the king is there, you know, while he is there. But after he has ascended, 
in that time they will fast. I, I just paraphrased that and butchered that, beg your pardon. But what if, brethren, what if we had a day of prayer and fasting? Joel chapter 1, verses 11 on to verse 20. Now remember, doctrinally and dispensationally, this is written on to the Jewish people. But when you read the Old Testament, when the Jewish people were backslidden or were under persecution, a call for prayer and fasting, seeking the Lord and His mercy. We can learn something from that for today, brethren. Let's read Joel chapter 1, verses 11 on to verse 20 to finish the chapter. Go there in your King James Bible and follow me along. Okay? Joel chapter 1, verses 11 on to verse 20 to finish the chapter. Be ye ashamed, O ye husbandmen. Howl, O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. The vine is dried up, and the fig tree languisheth, the pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree. Even all the trees of the field are withered, because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Gird yourselves and lament, ye priests. That's the dispensational difference. Howl, ye ministers of the altar. Come, lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God. For the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of our of your God. Sanctify ye a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry unto the Lord. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. Is not the meat cut off before our eyes, yea, joy and gladness from the house of our God? The seed is rotten under their clods, the garners are laid desolate, the barns are broken down, for the corn is withered. How do the beasts groan? The herds of cattle are perplexed, because they have no pasture, yea, the flocks of sheep are made desolate. O Lord, to thee will I cry. For the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness, and the flame hath burned all the trees of the field. The beasts of the field cry also unto thee, for the rivers of waters are dried up, and the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness. Here in my nation, beloved, and in yours as well, we see all that is going on. The sin the fragmentation, the divisions, the strifes. Brethren, I do wholeheartedly believe, and I agree, a day of fasting and prayer as the body of Christ, as the church of the living God, ought to be there. Why not today? And to be honest with all of ye, um, with what's going on here in, in my own personal life and the things that the Lord hath called me onto. Uh, I was going to be fasting and praying unto him regardless today. Brethren, um, I encourage you, let us seek the Lord through prayer and fasting today. Why not? Why not? Joel chapter 2, verses 12 on to verse 18. Joel chapter 2, verses 12 on to verse 18. Therefore also now saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. Look at, for those of you, my American countrymen, and even those of you of other nations, look around you. Look around you. Do you mourn for what's going on in your nation? 
Or do you take the attitude, well, we can't stop it. And you're right, we can't. But we can hinder. We can let. We can let, as we are called to do, according to the scriptures. Let's, uh, let's reread this. Therefore also now saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments. And turn on to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God? Now, here is the dispensational difference. But, all things that were written for time were written for our learning. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those, and those that suck the breasts. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. A day of prayer and fasting, brethren. I agree. And brethren, personally, I believe we ought to be called on to a day of prayer and fasting. Why not today? Why not today? Why not today? Second Chronicles, now, chapter 20. Second Chronicles, chapter 20. Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verses 1 under verse 12. Second Chronicles 20, verses 1 under verse 12. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, and with them of and with them other beside the Ammonites, came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side Syria. And behold, they be in Hazaz, Hazazon Tamar, which is in which is in Gedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Very quickly, brethren, look at what the Jesuits are doing here in America, and in your nation. Amen. A day of fasting and prayer. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court, and said, O Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven, and rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen? And in thine hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee? Art not thou our God, who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel, and gavest it to the seed of Abraham thy friend forever? And they dwelt therein, and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying, If when evil cometh upon us, as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house, and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. And now, behold, the children of Ammon, and Moab, and Mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade, 
when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession, which thou hast given us to inherit. O our God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. Amen. Brethren, today, I believe, why not? Why not this day? Why not this day? Seek the Lord. Seek Him with your, old, with your whole heart, with prayer and fasting. Seek Him for mercy, for wisdom, for grace, for His provision, for courage to stand fast in the Lord. To be unmovable. That he might have mercy. That he might open the eyes of those who are um, misled. Day of prayer and fasting, brethren. I believe, brethren, wholeheartedly, that this day, the year of our Lord, 2020, July 12th, here, where I'm at. It's probably, it may be different uh, for some of you today, <laughs> wherever you are, but I believe that, yes, let us pre proclaim a fast among the body of Christ, Church of the Living God, and let us seek Him today. That nothing which is hid will not be revealed. Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58. I'm going to read this whole chapter, Isaiah 58. Can you handle that? Isaiah 58. Isaiah chapter 58. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily, and delight to know my ways, as a nation that did righteousness, and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast ye find pleasure, and exalt all your labors. Remember um, where Jesus gives that parable about how, or not the parable in the Sermon on the Mount, which is uh, for the Millennial Kingdom, where they say, Lord, we have piped, we have danced unto you, we have fasted unto you, or whatever. Talking about false works without the relationship to be seen of men. Let's continue. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high. Is it such a fast that I have chosen, a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush, and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Wilt thou call this a fast, an acceptable day to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? True works need for repentance. Okay? From verse five, uh, verse 3, 4, and 5, those are false. Those are the false works done to be seen of men. With absent of the true heart and sorrow. Godly sorrow. But verses 6, on to verse 7 here. 
true works out of a broken and contrite heart. Sorrow, godly sorrow. Okay, let's continue. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out of thy house, when thou seekest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh? Now the reward of true works. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy re reward. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity, and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. And they, shall, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt rise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, the dispensational difference, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable and honoring and honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Sorry about that, brethren. One more example. One more example for you. Go to the book of Jonah. Go to the book of Jonah. Jonah chapter 3. Jonah chapter 3. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey, and Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Now, remember, Jonah really didn't want to go to his enemies of Nineveh, but the Lord had called him to do so. And then look at what he said to Nineveh. Look at their reaction. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne and laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away his fierce anger that we perish not? And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. Now here in America, <laughs> do you think that would happen, that the uh, government and those, the religious leaders and stuff like that, would do such a thing? Brethren, uh, I wholeheartedly believe, and I am I'm going to do it today myself. I believe that we ought to pray and fast and seek the Lord with all our hearts. 
and pray for his mercy and his provision for the body of Christ and that his word, his truth, the King James Bible, the real Bible, that we be strengthened in the truth and have no fear. And um, especially how worse and worse and worse it's getting every day. Amen, I agree. I believe that a day of prayer and fasting ought to be ought to be there. I, I do agree. So brethren, let's proclaim a fast and seek the Lord with all our hearts. Of course that is up to, uh, up to you, but uh, pray about it and seek the Lord. Because it ain't getting better, brethren. It's getting worse. It's getting worse every single day. And as for me, I'm going to spend this day in prayer and fasting, seeking the Lord through His Word. So, anyway, I, I love you, brethren. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, why not a day of prayer and fasting and seeking the Lord? In Jesus' name.